Hello guys, I am back again, still updating you with the breaking trending news what is going on in Nigeria. So good morning, good afternoon and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Alright guys, um, I don't want to waste much of your time, I quickly want to update you on this. Actually, the reason why I'm making uh, this video for you guys, just as you have seen on your screen, President Wari urges Western nations to ban IPOB. All right, so um, I'm making this video in reaction of my previous video where Soludo, the Anambra state governor, um, places a bounty of 1 million naira each to anybody that have information on those unmarked unknown gunmen. You can check that video if you are yet to get uh, the story, all right? So Soludo has unmarked um, some guys and um, one CEO of a particular hotel in the Anambra state. And then places a uh, one million naira um, for anybody that can lead to the arrest of uh, those persons that are on max, the unknown gunmen, precisely. Okay, so um, I am making this video in reaction to that. Now, remember any times, any time that unknown gunmen, you know, carry out the activities in the southeast, the first people that will be blamed, or the first group that will be blamed. It's always the IPOB. Now, I keep saying it um, time without numbers. How do you, you know, accuse somebody of something when there is uh, no investigation, no arrest or whatsoever? Yes, it is always everybody speculate that the activities of unknown gunmen is another wing of IPOB, just like Eastern Security Network. And there are some people that believe that... Um, Unknown gunmen are members of Eastern Security Network. Yes, that is just it. But now that Soludo, I mean, this is not the first time. Even even some governors in Saudi has been, um, you know, denying the claim that um, unknown gunmen are members of IPOB. But time without numbers, when these people enforces, especially Monday sit at home, um, the people tend to believe that um, they are members of IPOB. So Soludo has unmarked the unknown gunmen, and guess what? He didn't say that any of them is involved or they are members of IPOB. Now, why is Nigerian government so eager to stop or asking the Western nation to ban IPOB? Because if you look at it squarely, it is only in Nigeria that um, IPOB has been proscribed as a terrorist organization. Of course, yes. And this is an organization that have offices they have locations, and I believe they also have location in Nigeria, all over the world. They have offices, they have phone number, contact address, contact email, and so on. But how do you explain this to people? Because I believe the Western world will not think like Africans. They want to, you know, um, make some kind of inquiry. How do you say somebody is a, a terrorist or a particular organization is a terrorist organization? But this is the same group that comes out to do protests when Namdi Kano was um, abducted. They carry out protests almost on a daily basis. None of those uh, countries' uh, security uh, outfit arrested them. Nothing. Rather, the security outfit in other countries, they are protecting their protests. I mean, why do you think those countries will, you know, ban the activities of IPOB? They really don't think like Africans. Of course, yes. And the second um, thing those countries will look into is, how do you explain an organization that have a contact address, email, uh, they have pictures, uh, names of people that are directors and so on. I mean, which terrorist organization does that? Of course, which of them does that? None of them. Is it the bandit that have address or do the bushes have address now? Because the only thing they know is that these bandit uh, kidnappers, uh, Boko Haram, they live inside the forest. So I really don't know which street in the forest, which number in the forest, which phone number in the forest. Because that is the only thing you will use in quantifying if these people is, um, you know, terrorist organization or not. But this IPOB, they have physical addresses both digital and analog. But however, let me know what you guys think. I quickly want to update you on this. If you have anything to contribute, 
uh, put it down in the comment section below. See you guys in another update.